One of the strongest pillars of success for teenagers is habits. And to develop good habits, it's an effort. It has to be intentional. As they say that if you are not intentional about good habits, unintentionally you'll have bad habits. So the best of the best seven habits which we can learn for teenagers, which is by none other than Stephen Covey or Sean Covey, which is Seven Habits of Effective Teens, the worldwide famous book. We are going to bring that content to you in this Start Early Finish Rich Challenge. This content is exclusively for people who want to get those seven habits ingrained into them at an early age. Now, we have an expert, Dr. Kannan Girish, who explained the seven habits like no other person. He's going to go through the roof in his energy. So watch this short masterclass on seven habits of effective people by Dr. Kannan Girish and be a part of Start Early Finish Rich program. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing? Today, it's such an honor to see all of you all over here. So excited. Let's just for showing up. I mean, teenagers is one of the one of the best times, but also it's one of the most distracting times. So for all you kids out there who are right now over here learning to listen on how they can build habits, let's give a big round of applause. Come on, everybody. Let's give a big round of applause to all of you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Awesome. Good job. I welcome all of you to the session on uh, seven habits of highly effective teens and how we can build beautiful uh, a beautiful teenage by using the world-renowned Dr. Stephen Covey's seven habits. So now considering we are going to spend some time with each other, uh, I really want to thank all of you for coming over here, participating and just being here and wanting to learn. So a brief introduction to me. I'm Dr. Kanan Girish. I'm a psychiatrist and I'm the founder of this organization called Live Life Education. From 2010, I've been working in the field of education as a psychiatrist to build a good social emotional model for children. By God's grace, today we work with more than 100 schools across India and uh, one of the best organizations in the country that we work also with in empowering the teens is uh, Malkan's View and Vishal and Meghna Malkan. So, Today, I'm going to cover with you a little brief on what is the seven habits, why is it important to build the habits, and why is it that in today's century, building ethical and value-based uh, children is the need of the hour today. So now, before I start, I would like all of you to take a pen and a paper. Have your stuff ready. Come on, come on, come on, everybody. Quick, 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 quick. Have your stuff ready. Are you all ready? Give a thumbs up if you're ready. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Come on, everybody. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Put on the chat box if you're ready. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Be energetic. Put on your uh, thumbs up on your chat box that you're ready. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ready, 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 ready. Wow. Good, 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 good. Everyone, everyone, put it on the chat box. Awesome, 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 awesome. All of you all are ready. Beautiful, man. I was ready. Good, good, good. Awesome. So now, what is the seven habits and why is it very important? So let's start off with a, a beautiful part of looking at the seven habits from a context. Now, what is the context we are looking at? So first, let's look at who created it. It was none other than Dr. Stephen Covey, who was a management professor, who was so fascinated about studying human behavior that he studied 200 years of literature. And in those 200 years, he saw a pattern. And he found this pattern and he arranged it in the world famous book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And that book went on to become one of the best selling self-help books in the country. And the, in 2017, uh, Live Life, we partnered with Seven Habits, Stephen Covey's company. And in 2000, last year, in 22, uh, Malkan's View also partnered with us and Franklin Covey from the US directly. And Sean launched it for Malkan's View to build the Seven Habits curriculum and teens for the Malkan's View community. Yes, so you're the lucky ones and the first ones who are getting this online across India. So give yourself a lot of applause for that. Yes. So all of your teens out there are going to learn this curriculum in a very, very systematic and a fun way. So with this, let's start off with what is the seven habits? So now all of you are looking at this diagram. Yes. Can you all see this diagram? Thumbs up if you all can see this diagram. Yes, 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 yes. Good. So in this diagram, 
you can see the beautiful seven habits uh, uh, arranged in a particular order. So if you look at it, there is a private victory and a public victory. You could see that down there is a private victory and a public victory. In the private victory, there are three habits. Proactive, begin with the end in mind and put first things first. And in the public victory, there are three habits. Think win-win, seek first to understand and synergize. So this is how the three six habits are arranged and you have sharpened the saw which is arranged on the outside. So now we're gonna learn this habit with a lot of fun. If we're gonna have a lot of exercise, and we're gonna learn it with a lot of fun. So I want all of you to just stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Everyone, up, 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 up. come on, come on, everybody stand up. Right, so stand up. We're gonna do the seven habits with a lot of action. We're going to do it with action, and I want all of you to follow me. You all have to follow me, all right? So ready? The first thing, all of you together. Everyone, everyone, up, up, up. Ask your mother, father, everybody to stand up. Come on, come on, come on. Ask everybody to stand up. Yes. Beautiful. So now we'll all do it with action. Ready? One, two, three. Come on. Ready? One, two, three, go. Habit one. All of you, everyone together. Habit one. Nicely, habit one. Come on, energy. Habit one. Be proactive. Again, be proactive. Habit two. Come on, habit two. Begin. Find down. Begin with the air in mind. Again, begin with the air in mind. Habit three. Put first things first. Come on, everyone. Put first things first. You all have heard. Habit four. Think. Come on, everybody. Think. Win, win. I see. Shake yourself. Everybody, shake yourself. Win, win. Come on, everybody. Win, win. Beautiful. All of you repeat along with me. I win. You win. Together, we win. Again, okay. I win. You win. Together, we win. And have it five. Come on, everybody. Have it five. Seek first to understand and then be understood. Again, seek first to understand and then be understood. So all of you do it. Listen first, then speak. Again, listen first, then speak. Awesome. Habit six. Come on, everybody. Habit six. Synergize. Go do it together. Synergize. Hey, all of you are doing it so well. Synergize. So do it together. Together, we can do more. Again, together, we can do more. The last habit seven. Come on, everybody. Habit seven. Sharpen the saw. Again, do it. Sharpen the saw. So do it. Balance. Come on, everybody. Balance, body, mind, heart, and spirit. Habit one is be proactive. It says, I am in charge of my life. All our life, we keep blaming people. Children keep complaining. We keep complaining. But habit one says, I am in charge. Pause and then respond. Use proactive language and we need to take control of our life. So habit one is all about personal responsibility. Be proactive. Firstly, I learned to take responsibility for my actions. I was able to play a proactive role and boost up my confidence and efficiency. In simple terms, I can say that I was able to do things out of my comfort zone. Be proactive tells you that you need to be proactive and be active in class, be that class or school, doing home chores and everything. Before, I was a little lazy and I wasn't so active as I am now. But now, after learning them, I've known that I need to be more active and more interactive in class. This habit, be proactive, has helped me change my life a lot. Begin with the end in mind. This habit is all about clarity. What is your purpose in life and what are you doing right now? If you look at most of us, we just go with the flow and we grow with what it is. 
This habit gives you a clear direction. Why am I here? Why am I in this class? Why am I doing this? So that gives a clear end in mind so that your brain, which is like a GPS, can align everything to create that in your life. Begin with the end in mind. So uh, whenever my exams are approaching and I don't feel like studying, I there are many distractions in my life such as tablets, t television, etc. So the one thing that gets me back to studying is that visualizing the end. It's visualizing the end. So I think about a day in my life when I'm when I'm older. It's uh, it's I'm standing. I'm it's like I'm standing on a stage with all my uh, friends around me, my parents, my teachers. They're all smiling at me and they're proud of me. I have a trophy in my hand. And this one thought, this one visualization of the future gets me back to studying no matter how distracted I am or no matter how much I don't like the subject I'm trying to study for. Habit 2. Begin with the end in mind has always made me prepare my goal. For example, the annual exams have always been a tough challenge. But now, because of begin with the end in mind, I can prepare and set a goal with the 4DX chart and prepare for it. Put first things first. The number one complaint everybody says is, I don't have enough time. So this is the habit of time management, where beautifully we tell you, look, focus on your highest priority, then do the rest, so that everything aligns with you, and you're able to put all your time management problems away, and start focusing on what's important to you. The first thing first basically means putting uh, the important task over the not so important ones. For example, one time I wanted to do, I wanted to go out and play with my friends, but I wasn't able to because I had plenty of homework to do. But uh, I decided to put first things first and do my homework instead of going out with my friends. And that uh, it really made a big impact on my grades and I was able to do really well in tests. This habit had a very big impact on me. Before, I used to get distracted very easily. My mobile phone was my biggest enemy. And that's when uh, this habit came and I got to understand that we can watch mobile anytime, but what's more important are my studies and my test that is coming next weekend. Habit 4 is all about think win-win. Now all of us have this problem, I should only win, no that person only is doing like this to me. We keep blaming. Win-win is about mutual respect, mutual trust and mutual well-being that both of us are in this together, let us do this together. Win-win is about courage and consideration in creating a synergistic relationship so people can win together. Think win-win, the fourth habit of the limb tree. It's about, like, you should not only think that you're, you should only win, you should always think that you and your partner both can win. It's not about losing or winning, it's about teamwork and it's about you both winning. Allow to help others and not to be selfish, but to selfless. And by doing this, I have one chest of many friends. For example, sharing my notebook to my friends and others, which I think I also have completed my classwork and they also completed their classwork. It helps everyone win. Habit 5 is seek first to understand and then to be understood. This is the habit of listen first and then speak. You know one of the number one complaints I see a lot of time from children are nobody listens to me. From the parents are my children don't listen to me. So this habit is all about I need to listen first, understand and then start to speak when my chance comes up about creating beautiful relationship by listening first and then speaking. Uh, one of my favorite habits in the seven is seek first to understand then to be understood. I have learned to listen to other people's opinions and see from their view. Habit number five, seeking first to understand and then only to be understood. I believe that this habit tells us that communication is the oxygen of all kinds of relationships and that all problems in the world can be solved if we just sit together and talk. Synergy. Synergy is all about working together and creating impact together. Together we can do more. One of the biggest complaints that people will say is, I feel lonely. I feel there is nobody for me. I feel I am always alone. Now Synergy says this beautifully, that together we can do more than doing things alone. It's all about doing things together and winning together. Before when I was unfamiliar with this habit and the other habits, I was 
non cooperative and whenever i used to get group project i was unable to do that but when i came to know about this habit i'm able to cooperate suppose if i'm given a group project and i have to do it with my uh, group members i listen to their uh, ideas and combine their ideas and come up with a better idea and cooperate with them to come up with a better project sinanjay has taught me to be uh, to be friends with everyone i'm polite i'm kind i'm loving and i'm sharing and i'm synergizing with everyone habit 7 is all about sharpening the saw which is balancing your mind body heart and spirit now most of us tell this all the time i don't have time for my health i don't have time to exercise i don't have time to do this do that we always say habit 7 is about personal responsibility of your health your mental health your well being and what is it that you want to contribute it is about looking at life holistically sharpen the saw is a key to make myself happy i discovered about new things like dance cooking designing gaming craft works to sharp my mind so this uh, habit was uh, very helpful for me a lot during the pandemic as i learned a lot about self care and self care it is one of the most important thing to lead our life very successfully and effectively so this habit it helped me a lot personally and not only i learned about self care but i also learned about self improvement and i even learned about a lot of new things if you want to run like a rabbit then follow seven habits so i am pretty sure that i will follow the seven habits throughout my lifetime even in busy schedule so follow the seven habits to succeed in your life beautiful lovely the way all of you all did it so this is what we call as the seven habits so each habit is unique each habit is designed in a particular way that goes deep inside your life so again i will show you the slide now that you can see the seven habits right over here it's a beautiful uh, way of looking at it uh, that that you can actually see the seven habits so now again i'll repeat habit 1 is be proactive i am in charge of my life habit 2 is begin with the end in mind know the end and act accordingly habit 3 is about putting first things first focus on your highest priority habit 4 is think win win i win you win together we win habit 5 is seek first to understand and then be understood that is listen first and then speak and habit 6 is called synergize and habit 7 is called Shop in the saw. Awesome, awesome, so beautiful, beautiful. So now I want all of you to draw this diagram. Draw it, draw it, draw it. If you can just draw it, nothing like drawing it. You know how do you create habits in life? Is by doing action. So I want all of you to write this down. Habits are a result of our consistent actions. Habits are the results of our consistent actions. So I want all of you to draw this diagram, and now. as you're drawing this you can see those three lines there you have a dependence line which is below an independence line which is in the middle and an interdependence line which is on the top so dependence independence and interdependence and you can see very beautifully sharpen the saw is the habit that is there on the outside it encompasses all the habits together very beautifully it encompasses all the habits together Beautiful. So now, all of you understood this, yes? If you have all understood this diagram and you have understood this concept, type out yes on the chat box. Come on, come on, come on. Type out yes. Come on, yes. If you have understood the way it's arranged, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. So now we will look at these habits. Since we have a little time, we'll look at one of the habits in detail. Okay. So in detail, in the sense, we will do it in a particular way, and then in our higher program, which I'm sure all of you are uh, going to join, you we will do it in uh, detail in all the habits in all areas of your life. So first, we'll start with the first habit. So ready? So what is the first habit? Be proactive. All of you do it together. Be proactive. That is, I am in charge. of my life again one more time i am in charge 
of my life. Say it together. I am in charge of my life. So this habit has got a very beautiful concept called stimulus and response. So all of you do it together. Stimulus and response. Someone said it and I did it. Right? Stimulus and response. This is how we always do. My mummy told me because of which I did. This thing happened because of which I did this. That thing happened because of which I did it. Nothing of me. This is how most of us are very, very reactive in our lives. And that's where we say between the stimulus and the response, we have the freedom to choose. I choose my response. Rather than blaming someone, I choose the response that I want to create in my life. And that's where we say the first habit, be proactive, is all about choosing your response to that particular emotion. The next habit, the next principle in be proactive is called proactive language. Now, as teens, we always use a lot of reactive language. And one of the re most commonest reactive languages, I don't have enough time. I can't do this. Oh my God, so much is there to be done. Why are my parents always after me? So I want you to put in the chat box. Come on, everybody. Put in the chat box some of your commonest complaints. What are the complaints that you say to yourself very, very commonly every single time? Go, 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 go. I want to hear your commonest complaints. Go, 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 go. Put your commonest complaints. Okay, I don't have enough time. My parents are shouting. <laughs> so many complaints are coming up for all of you. Yes. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Go, go, go for it. Go for it. I want to hear more of your complaints. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Awesome, awesome, awesome. My dad doesn't listen to me. My parents are shouting. I'm forced to have to do these things. Oh my God, everything is there. And if you see most of this, look at the complaints. It's most of the time, okay, someone says, there's no complaint for me. Wow. So, and I, I think the most of the things that we actually see in our life comes a lot from the complaints we have in our life. And I think one of the most powerful principles that you as teenagers can use is knowing the difference between a reactive language and a proactive language. So all of you write this down. A reactive language and a proactive language. What is a reactive language and what is a proactive language? So now, if you look at this thing, very beautifully you can see, what is a reactive language? It releases stress-producing hormones and neurotransmitters in your brain, damaging your ability to think and make decisions. So it releases stress hormones, Neurotransmitters in your brain damaging your ability to think and make decisions. Whereas a proactive language, watch, has a positive impact on the brain chemistry, causing you to think and feel better. So that means what? The Rather than saying, I don't know how to do it, why don't we change it to, how can I try and do this in an efficient way? Rather than saying, I have no time, why don't we change and say, how can I do these things in the little time that I have? And that is a smart mind of a teenager. A teenager who uses proactive language always finds ways to get things done. That's why he always finds things to make things efficient and get it done in an effective way. So now let's look at some examples of a reactive language. So I want all of you to read this out. Come on, come on. Shake your hands a little. Shake your hands, shake your hands, shake your hands. Everybody shake your hands. Read it with a lot of emotion. Do like this, do like this. Come on, come on, everybody. Put your hands like this, put your hands like this. Yes. Awesome. So let's start. All of you read it out, read it out, read it out. I can't. It's not my fault. I have to. We have no other choice. They won't let me. There's nothing we can do. Hiyo. So much of tension for everybody. <laughs> when we use this uh, reactive language, that is what happens. Most of us tend to lose things in our life because of a reactive language. And I've seen countless number of teens. Most of the time when they use reactive language, they feel tired, they feel exhausted, 
They feel why they are going to do this. They feel very, very irritated. And most of the time, they are very frustrated, right? So if you use reactive language in your life, or if you have people like this in the reactive language, do you all agree that it is going to really irritate you? Ah, it's going to irritate you like anything. Yes or no? Come on, everybody, type out yes or no. It's going to irritate you, obviously. There's no question over here. It's definitely going to irritate you. So that's why I always say, let's build a proactive culture and a proactive language. So now, what is that proactive language? So I want all of you to look at this slide. And uh, yes, the slide is come. So now I want you to read the next set of words together. Okay. The next set of words together. Come on, let's read it out with the hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Come on, everybody, hands up, hands up, hands up. Ready? Go. I can. I am sorry. I apologize. I choose to. Let's look at all our options. I will get this done. And there must be something we can do over here. How do you all feel now? Come on, everybody, type in the chat box. How do you all feel right now? Awesome, awesome, brilliant, brilliant. Yes, that is how you are when you use a proactive language. Can we all choose to use a proactive language right now? Come on, everybody. Can we all choose that whatever be the problem in our life, we will choose to use a proactive language with confidence. If we use that with confidence, then we can major it out and fight it out and see whatever happens, we still do the best for what we want to do. Yes? Are you sure? Can we all do that? Do you all agree with me? If you all agree, type out agree on the chat box. Come on, everybody, type out agree on the chat box. Awesome. Brilliant. So now I want you to look at some of your problems you face. Many times, if you see, we always complain about our concerns. I can't do this, I can't do that, this is bad, this is just like this. But we never look at what are the areas that I can actually influence. And that's our third principle called focus on your circle of influence. What is your influence and how do you want to focus on that circle? So all of you draw these two circles. Come on, everybody. Draw, draw these two circles. One is a circle of concern and circle of influence. Quick, 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 quick. I want all of you to draw. Quick. Quick. All of you done? If you're done, show, show a thumbs up. Show a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Come on, everybody. Thumbs up. Beautiful. So circle of concern is on the outside and circle of influence is on the inside. All right. So now I want all of you to understand this very clearly. Let me know now. First, if your, your subjects studying comes in circle of influence or circle of concern. Come on, put it in the chat box. What does it come from? Studies for you comes in area of influence, influence. Some are saying concern. Exactly. Some are saying concern. Some are saying influence. Beautiful. Whether on the outside, is it something we can influence or is it a concern? Concern, 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 concern. Come on, everybody. Type it, type it, type it, type it. Concern, concern. Some are saying it's an influence. Beautiful. Awesome. So it's a concern and an influence for some people, right? And it's sometimes concern. Some people say, yes, we agree. Beautiful. Now, what is the circle of influence and circle of concern? If you look at this diagram over here, it has two areas called circle of influence and circle of concern. So all of you write this down. Circle of influence is what I can influence in that issue. What are the things that I can influence in the issue? That is part of your circle of influence. And circle of concern is, I cannot do anything in that issue. So all of you write this down. Circle of influence is, there's something I can do in this issue. And circle of concern is, there is nothing much I can do in this issue. Yeah. So now, all of you write this down. Every concern has an influence. Write this down. Every concern has an influence. The problem is we don't focus as children on the influence. Like say, for example, Max is tough. It's a concern for many kids. What is the area of influence? How can I learn Max effectively? 
how can i learn max happily these are all your influences which you can actually influence and make a difference but if you sit and keep talking only of your concern then at the end of the day only your concern will be seen but if you talk along with your influence then your influence will also make a difference is this clear with all of you all so circle of concern and circle of influences concern is all the things that you think are very tough for you circle of influence is all the things that you think that you can actually influence inside of this issue yeah so circle of concern and circle of influence so write this down whenever you're faced with a problem write the statement down whenever you're play faced with a problem ask yourself this question how can i influence this issue what is my area of influence and how can i influence this issue the moment you ask that you will be able to create a difference and influence that particular issue so this is how we work with circle of influence and circle of concern so i given you now a bird's eye view of habit proactive how many of you love habit proactive yes that's the first habit and that's the habit of taking initiative going out there and creating something for your life so now i'm going to uh, show you a video two videos of two of my students arvind and shya they have used the seven habits for the last 3 years and they have created something fabulous arvind has now gone on to uh, become an entrepreneur and has created uh, and has been able to raise a lot of money for his project shya is someone who really transformed his life to be a school pupil leader and he will share with you how the seven habits helped him and made him confident to become a school pupil leader so now let's watch that video my father told me that uh, his uh, job was not uh, permanent many employees were uh, kicked out from the company many families were uh, suffering difficult situations uh, build uh, one man's character i thought uh, I should do something for my family. One day I saw in the newspaper Flipkart 77% of the stake was bought by Walmart. So then I got interested in that and I learned more about these two companies. Then I started to learn about other companies. Every day I would spend an hour researching about three startups. That understanding of seven habits made me a more better person. I started thinking differently about things, normal things. I started to know the history of these things. I started to see the things in a different dimension. Even I should start a company because there are uh, a lot of young entrepreneurs. They have started many companies. There are a lot of young billionaires also. So I thought, okay, let me become one. On January one, two thousand nineteen, the Tamil Nadu government had banned uh, plastics, usage of plastic bags and other plastic items. the people could use only the jute bags so i started selling jute bags as a doorstep delivery everyone would ask me then i would go and deliver many people started to buy jute bags at that time uh, it, uh, the value of jute bags uh, increased we yielded a lot of profit from that i started thinking win win that is my customer should also win i should also win i should win by getting good profits and my customers should win by getting a good quality product i i started to sell more natural things stationery user friendly stationery then quality rice first we should concentrate on uh, three particular things then we can uh, expand it more so i improved uh, day by day now i am building an app so what i am basically doing is that i am creating an application order management software that is uh, bringing the product adding the product and ordering the product it will be user friendly for uh, regional people also and uh, hindi speaking uh, people also it's a very difficult uh, job to bring in uh, two languages uh, inside the app currently i am uh, watching many more videos about the coding languages it's very difficult to code and program i started uh, with scratch the basic kindergarten thing and uh, then now, uh, now i am doing with uh, so professional app creator now i am uh, planning for to re- launch it soon all these incidents uh, made me a leader and this was all because of seven habits it's a very practical thing you will come to know the transformation many difficult situations will come but it will build your character and it will make you a leader that is what is the biggest thing we should learn from our life i learned it and you should also learn it believe me i am very shy and inhibited especially when it comes to facing up a crowd 
I get very nervous. There was an election which was coming up in my route and my mom actually advised me to become the head boy of the school and I started thinking about it. I saw many confident people, more, more confident than me, standing in the election and I, was, I thought that how can I compete with them when I don't have the confidence. The election started, we had to go to different classes and uh, ask for votes. So I went to each class, first, second try, I couldn't do it well. Then second, third try, I started doing well. The children who were confident in me, I asked them how to do this. Those people gave me many ideas. I merged the ideas with my ideas. And at last, I started talking to the other classes and other children confidently. Each day, I started practicing in front of the mirror. And at last, I overcome the fear. And now, I represent the school as a head boy. When I started using these seven habits, seven habits started uh, to overcome my fear, that, that crowd fear, the facing up camera fear. This all just went away. The Shyam, who is like the most shy and inhibited, suddenly found himself very confident. Once you face it, then you can, if you think that you can do it, then you can complete it all the way. Now, I'm a true leader and representing the school uh, as a head boy, I am possible. Nothing is impossible in this world. If you think you can do it, you can finish it. All right, so did you all watch that video? Yes, beautiful. So now, do you all want to be like Shyam and Aravind? Yes or no? If you want to be, then join in a higher level program where we are going to teach you this systematically how you teens can actually use the seven habits to build a life of your own and to build a whole ecosystem of your own. So are you all excited? <laughs> excited. Yes or no? Thumbs up, thumbs up if you're excited. Beautiful. So that's how we are going to teach the seven habits as a system that will actually help you to make a difference in the children's lives. Yes, thumbs up. Yes, superb. So with this, we come to the end of this session. And I want each one of you to be there when we actually go in depth into all of these habits, help you as teens to build a character, to build a competence and to build a wonderful, wonderful life. So all the best. God bless all of y'all. Thank you to Vishal and Meghna Malkan for doing such a fabulous job as teens. And I also truly believe learning young is very, very important. And as all of you are learning here from Malkan's view, all of you will rock it in your life. Thank you all. Thank you. So that's your Super Teens Bootcamp. Now let me tell you all the details about Bootcamp if you are not registered yet. This is all for you. 10-20 years old kids can attend. सबका रिप्ले भी मिलेगा सब कुछ करने को मिलेगा पेरेंट्स भी अटेंड कर सकते हैं सो लेट हैव इट लेट्स हैव इट ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो स्टार्ट अर्ली फिनिश रिच इज अ फाइव डे चैलेंज पांच दिन का चैलेंज है जो स्टार्ट हो रहा है फर्स्ट जून को और उसमें वेल्थ क्वेश्चन एंड देन जीनियस क्वेश्चन एंड स्पिरिचुअल क्वेश्चन पे काम किया जाएगा इन दिस फाइव डे चैलेंज आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी विच इज लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स लर्न इन्वेस्टिंग स्किल्स एंड एवेन्यूज इन अर्ली इन लाइफ The start early finish with challenge is your chance to get started in your life with financial success. Then you are going to learn the seven habits जो आपने कनन से सीखा मैं आपको और डिटेल में एक एक हैबिट को सिखाऊंगा ताकि वो हैबिट अगर आपने अभी से डालना शुरू कर दिया which will help you for long term, right? So seven habits of effective learn to improve your self image, your build friendships, resist peer pressure, achieve your goals, appreciate your parents, tackle the new challenges like cyber bullying and social media and all the other things which you face. That's your thing. And the third is three days yes course by Art of Living, where you again learn to be productive and dynamic while staying cool and centered. Right? Mind ko control me rakhe. Learn powerful breathing techniques, yoga, meditation, and practical wisdom of the modern world. Matlab, aisa deadly combination aapko kahin dekhne ko nahi milega. So under one roof, under one program. Right? So all this plus you are going to get a gift box, right? Like this band and book and swag box and all those things at your doorstep when you register for this. And that is going to be there. Plus, you are going to get replaced for two weeks. मतलब समझो आपने उस डेट पे अटेंड नहीं किया, कुछ मिस हो गया, आपका स्कूल कॉलेज प्रोजेक्ट किधर भी बिजी हो, so you can watch the replay later. And दो वीक तक आपको रिप्लेस भी मिलेंगे ताकि आप बाद में भी देख सको। अगर आपको दूसरी बार देखना है, तीसरी बार देखना है, नोट्स लेना है, कुछ मिस हो गया, कुछ समझ में नहीं आया, you can do that also. Two weeks. And then of course you are going to be part of Facebook community if you want to be, right? So which is uh, 
start uh, the super start early finish with challenge people all the kids all the teenagers will be there super teens so they you can communicate you can share your wins share, share your goals everything can be there so all this put together plus you are going to have a super brain master class how to master the brain power like especially during exams agar aap padhai kar rahe ho aapko jaldi se yaad rakhna hai memory techniques and all that we are going to do a super super brain master class also for this once the challenge is over so all this put together is the worth of the value of this can be more than 25000 in fact it's invaluable we have kept it as a nominal price because this is the first starter leaf fish finished it challenge just for 3300 rupees for for your teenager now aapke ghar mein ek teenager hai या दो है या चार है या आजू बाजू वालों को भी बुला के बैठ सकते हो और पेरेंट्स को भी बुला सकते हो इट्स गोइंग टू बी स्टिल 3300 थ्री हंड्रेड बिकॉज कम्प्लीटली ऑनलाइन यू डोंट नीड टू ट्रैवल एनी वेयर यू सिट इन योर हाउस लाइक वॉट यू आर डूइंग टुडे एंड यू कैन वॉच द रीप्लेस यू कैन वर्क ऑन योर माइंड बॉडी एंड सोल एवरी थिंग टूगेदर जस्ट फॉर थर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड विच इंक्लूड्स द जी एस टी विच इंक्लूड्स द स्वैग बॉक्स विच इंक्लूड्स ऑल द लर्निंग्स एंड ट्रेनिंग्स विच इंक्लूड्स येस कोर्स विच इंक्लूड्स सेवन हैबिट्स विच इंक्लूड्स फाइव डे चैलेंज एवरी थिंग प्लस द कम्युनिटी प्लस द सुपर ब्रेन मैस्टर क्लास सो जस्ट You, this is actually this is not business for us. This is a passion project. हमारे बाकी जो बड़े प्रोग्राम्स होते हैं दोज आर नॉट प्राइज एट टू थ्री थाउजेंड दोज आर प्राइज इन टू थाउजेंड एंड लैक्स ऑफ रुपीज बट दिस इज लाइक अ पेट प्रोजेक्ट फॉर मी दिस इज लाइक आई एम टीचिंग माई टीन एजर्स सो आई वॉन्ट योर टीन एजर्स टू ऑल्सो लर्न सो दिस इज वन थिंग विच आई मिस्ड एज अ टीन एजर मैन आई वॉज अ टीन एजर एंड आज लर्निंग स्टॉक मार्केट और लर्निंग ऑल द स्किल्स आई थिंक दिस इज अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी द बेस्ट टाइम टू डू दिस थैंक यू सो मच एंड हेयर इज अ क्यू आर कोड यू रजिस्टर If you register before, like twenty seventh of uh, May, then your swag box will reach on time. Otherwise, it will be delayed. So make sure you book before twenty seventh of May, and uh, that's your challenge. Who's in? Who's ready? And you can even, if you have already joined, make sure you pass on this link to or more people so that they can also join. and uh, this is the first batch we are doing first to 5th of june replays are available everybody can watch it even if you don't have a teenager you should still attend as an adult because you want to learn a lot of things about all the things which we discussed i right, thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this super teens boot camp we enjoyed doing it and it was a pleasure so i pray, i am a pro put that in the chat box because abhi se aap kuch bhi kaam karoge aap pro level pe kaam karoge seek ke master karke karoge you are not shy you are not uh, de confident you are not distracted you are focused you have a goal you have a focus you have mindset clear you have cool and calm temperament and you are a super teen aur yaad hai maine aapko ek challenge diya hai ki super teens ke facebook group mein ja ke aap ek 30 second video banaoge and say i am this i am vishal malkan i am attending this boot camp i am a super teen and i am super confident and put that in the facebook and we are going to announce the winner during the challenge thank you so much good luck